ब्रॉड टू यू बाय माई इलेवन सर्कल विन फर्स्ट प्राइज महिंद्रा थार डाउनलोड दी एप नाउ तो चलिए टी ट्वेंटी आपने बहुत देख लिया टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप भी हो गया और अब तो एक नया फॉर्मेट आ गया है टी टेन आ गया है एंड एज वी स्पीक आबू धाबी टी ट्वेंटी टी टेन लीग इज ऑन एंड वी ज्वाइन बाय वन ऑफ द चैंपियन टीम प्रोस्पेक्टिव चैंपियन दिस ईयर द टीम दैट हैज बीन टॉपिंग द चार्ट द न्यूयॉर्क स्ट्राइकर्स एंड लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस everybody we've got the world cup winning captain on morgan with us we've got uh, rashid khan the most sought after uh, white ball cricketer in the world we've also uh, got uh, sagar khanna who's the owner promoter of uh, new york uh, strikers plus the coach himself carl crow uh, welcome to the show gentlemen thank you good to be here hey, it's been a fantastic uh, ride for all of you in fact uh, uh, you know they they were obviously uh, uh some question mark over uh, the t10 league would it be viable internationally what is your first uh, impression about the t10 league uh, on oh well i've played in every year so far so uh, i think it's been going five years now and it's it's gone from strength to strength so it's not something that has been new to me i'm a huge fan of t10 cricket i have been for a number of years now and the simple fact is it's it, it's a celebration of the game it's a carnival of cricket and the beauty of it is you can start and end a tournament in the space of 10 days and sometimes a week and it's very rare that you come across any other format in our game that you can start and finish a tournament in that period of time i think that's one of the huge strengths of it i think the second biggest strength is you know as a Uh, a cricket lover you can you can buy a ticket and you can pay a premium price in any other any other format and and you know growing up as a kid my favorite batter was Brian Lara and I could go and I could watch Brian Lara bat but he might not get any runs albeit he was a, a very accomplished batter one of the greatest ever in T10 cricket you buy a, a ticket for the game and you actually get to see two possibly three games in one day so you don't just get to see Brian Lara you get to see Rashid Khan Karan Pollar the likes of big name players across four to six teams in the course of a day so your value of tickets and pure entertainment is exceptional in this format and look at your uh, form uh, there are uh, suggestions that uh, possibly uh, you could have uh, still played the world t20 possibly uh, led england to another title as the captain as well <laughs> no 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 that's uh, that's a lot of smoke um and a lot of rubbish to be honest um uh, I'm certainly the team that went on and won the T20 World Cup were exceptional the best teams in the world they had no flaws within the team and certainly given the time that I retired was certainly the right moment for me and the team if you look back as um the transition between the captaincy and myself and and Josh Butler it allowed him enough time to transition to 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 go from strength to strength to become the brilliant leader and tactician that he is and allow others grow around him and at different stages over and above him given the leaders he has within the group um so i would argue that the timing was actually perfect in order for the team to go on and and win the the T20 world cup well in hindsight uh, on uh, in uh, india uh, we are possibly uh, regretting <coughs> having uh, run into england in the same finals maybe the fans are saying uh, some other team would have done rashid the uh, you the most important white ball cricketer in the world right now i mean uh, you go and play every league again the abu dhabi t10 uh, this format uh, your team uh, what do you make of the success of the team well i think uh, i'm so happy to be to be here with the uh, team which is top of the table and uh, you know the most important thing is like everyone in the team is uh, taking the responsibility you know which is the best thing in a team like it's not just like uh depending on one player or two players uh they could perform they win otherwise uh, they're going to lose the game no i think anyone get the opportunity i think they step up and uh take the responsibility if that's in the bowling department batting department and that's the beauty of this team and uh, i think that's the main reason behind like you know being the top of the table and uh crucial games now uh knockout stage and i think uh, for us the best thing is just go there in the Ex- express the skills and enjoy the game and t10 t10 is always about like you know the more you enjoy i think the better you perform so 
it's just about that, you know. And we as a team, we are enjoying it. And uh, I've been with the team from the last few games, and uh, it has been great experience so far. Uh, only a champion like you can say there's no pressure. But uh, Russian three <laughs> formats in white ball cricket: 50 overs, 20 overs, 10 overs. As a bowler, uh, how is T10 different uh, for you? Uh, in a in a one day match, you get 10 overs. You also know that you know a couple of loose balls uh, won't matter. In a T20 game, you get four overs. In 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 T10, you get two overs. So how do you alter yourself? Well, you know, T10 last two hours, you bowl two hours, and I think you know if it if you, if you look like in T20s and ODIs, most of the time, you know, for Afghanistan, I am bowling the last four in in the last four in last three. And uh, that is something, you know, batsman is always going after you. And that is something which prepares you from here as well. Like, you know, if you're boring those two hours, I think everyone is going after you. So I have those things in the mind as well. Like tomorrow, if I'm playing for Afghanistan in the World Cup, in ODI, I'm bowling 48th over or 47th over. And I think it will be the same scenario like in T10, everyone will be going after you. So I think it's a, it's a kind of best preparation for you as well here to learn, like, you know, what is the options you're going to go on with in the... It makes you well prepared for that. That as well, you know. Uh, uh, Carl, uh, coming to, I think we've lost Rashid for a while, but uh, again, uh, you know, forming teams in a T10 league again, a newer uh, version. Uh, you've got somebody like Morgan, you've got somebody like Rashid, you've got somebody like Pollard, and the others. Um, what was the preparation going into the combinations? I mean, uh, before the tournament. So obviously, our four direct signings were. You know, brilliant signings in terms of personnel, in terms of skill, in terms of experience, and uh, myself, Slagan, with the other coaches and, and the captain and Shri, our um, analyst, talked very much about having a balance between that experience and youth. Um, young players come in and bring their exuberance and taking expressing themselves, and, and you know, having someone like um, Owen in the team and, and Polly just means that they're whatever's in front of us, they've fully faced it before in their in their in their careers. It's been a surprise in too much, so we're able to adapt to what's in front of them. And uh, yeah, we've gone pretty well, I think, on the draft. We've, we're delighted from the draft with the, the team we had. We've made some excellent signs along the way, and Rashid was a, was a brilliant signing for us um, and complemented the team brilliantly. And so we've been pleased with the way the team performed. You know, we hope that would be the case, and we hope it continues for the next two days. Uh, Kal, uh, since it's a fast format, I mean, uh... Uh, you look at international players. I mean, Rashid made a very valid point. The more you enjoy this format, the better you become because you also try to eliminate the fear of failure. I mean, in a T T ten game, uh, how much is the fear of failure, the spectre hanging around uh, the players because they've got reputations to defend. They're, they're, they're world champions. Uh, they've got reputations to defend. Again, a T ten may not do justice to their talent. So, how do you eliminate this fear of failure in a dressing room before an important game? Um, well, I mean, I think that's individual for each person. But one thing we've talked about right at the start, many individuals, is we would expect failure during this tournament. If you're playing seven to ten days and playing fairly high-risk cricket, you're going to fail. Um, we've had a, quite a lot of tight in the bowlers' meetings. We've talked about the only thing I really care about with the bowlers is whatever happens, they still want the ball in their hand and bowl the next over. They, get, they are going to get taken. I mean, you mentioned earlier about the standard of competition. The best players in the world are here. If you're the best players in the world, you're going to get taken in 10 overs. But as long as they keep wanting to bowl the next over and wanting to be the man for the captain, that's all we've cared about. And the same thing with the batting. The bats have got complete freedom to go and play. It's unrealistic to expect them to perform in every game. So hmm. you keep backing them, keep backing their skills. And a point in case would be Mohamed Wasim, the local player, who had a fairly, for his own standards, poor start to the competition. Yesterday, I thought it was outstanding. Had we have panicked the team and, and dropped him and taken him out of the team, that, that's not a great sign for the, the rest of the boys. But we back him, mm. we used to back him, and yesterday he played a fantastic innings. And I think so. It's, it's your behaviours and that you, you back, keep backing players and don't drop them through no performances, and that takes away an element of it. Uh, on uh, again, do uh, you think uh, T10 is here to stay? I mean, uh, uh, could there be. T10 leagues in terms of international cricket as well in the future? Yeah, I think it is here to stay. I think uh, Rashid answered the question beautifully earlier about where does it sit in, re in relation to the other three formats and four if you include the 100 in the UK. In actual fact, it, it, it carves out a little niche of its own 
in that it's, it doesn't threaten any of the other formats. Whereas when you look at possibly T20 cricket um, over the course of its, its evolution and development, it's possibly threatened the 50 over game and, and test match cricket really in the long term. And the effect that it's had has, has been unbelievable. I see T10 cricket as being something that continuously gets bigger and better and very much like the Rugby Sevens tournament that travels around the world and um, celebrating what rugby is and, and developing different skills for players along the way. I see, I see the tournament growing in that sort of format. So I see multiple um, tournaments around the world over the course of the next five, six years. Uh, on your uh, in Adelaide the other day, I, I, I saw you. Uh, how would you look at the uh, World Cup semi-final? I mean, again, uh, uh, India came into the tournament with experience. But what exactly you think would have happened with the Indians? Because uh, on, on that wicket, uh, in that ground, they just let England dominate them. Yeah, I don't think they let... In any heavyweight battle, when it comes to a side being dominated like they were, and let's be honest, India were dominated from start to finish. You have yes. to continue to throw punches. And England did that. I thought Joss Butler's captaincy was outstanding. I thought he, his tactics and strategy throughout the whole game were absolutely excellent. And actually, England made India play that way. They strangled them. It looked like India didn't have a plan B or a plan C to go to. So when their plan A didn't work, they had nowhere to go. And possibly in the first 13, 14 overs of the first innings, the game was already dead and buried. Um, we were sitting and watching and talking about why in, uh, India chose to play that way. Um, and perhaps you'd question their planning going into the game or their, their lack of adaptation when England mm. had been so strong in the game. Um, and considering you only rewind the clock five, six months ago when India toured England and again dominated England by playing this free-spirited, very aggressive, very positive mantra under Rohit Sharma. And we sat back and we, we, we lauded Raul Dravid and, and Rohit Sharma, but certainly it wasn't evident in Adelaide for the semi-final. Sagar, I hope you can hear me now. Am I audible to you? He's muted. Uh, Sagar, uh... Sagar, are you are you able to hear me? No, I think uh, he can't. He can't. Uh, Rashid, by again, uh, what do you make of your team? I mean, uh, you're going going to the qualifiers, the knockouts. Is this the champion team for the edition? Uh, I think you know the the way we play uh, and uh, the cricket the guys playing is 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 uh, something you know you want to be and should deserve to be a champions but i think it's t10 you know anything can happen one hour chain total Again, I think Nashid also has some connectivity issues. Sagar, finally, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Thank God I can. I can, yes. Uh -huh. uh, you know, my my question again was, uh, why the name New York Strikers? I mean, this is cricket. And New York Strikers doesn't really strike anything for me. Okay, so basically, uh, when I used to play cricket, I used to like, I used to love striking the ball. So my team's okay. name was strikers and then uh, Abu Dhabi League had suggested we need a city's name before our team okay. names. So we we went with New York strikers. And how would you look at your team and the league and the future? Our team is doing pr pretty well. The points table speak for itself. Um, we have a good team, mixture of young talent and experience like Morgan, Pollard, Wahab Riaz, and then young lads like, you know, uh, Rashid Bhai, um, Paul Sterling is there. Uh, Izar uh, Naveed, uh, excellent spinner um, from Afghanistan mm. is there. So we have a mixture of team. Very happy with the team. 
and the future is uh, we're looking to grow me and Carl were just speaking about it this morning we are definitely looking to grow um, we have already shown the world that we are here to win we are here to stay and we'll definitely grow in the future well I can only wish you and your team uh, uh, good luck and I hope uh, to see you guys once again on sports Talk sports today uh, hopefully with the trophy in your hands Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. मेरे साथ जुड़िए मनाने के लिए क्रिकेट का सबसे बड़ा त्योहार मैच से जुड़े आपके हर सवाल का हम देंगे जवाब जानने के लिए हर अपडेट लाइव एनालिसिस स्पेशल इंटरव्यूज डाउनलोड कीजिए स्पोर्ट्स तक ऐप